All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. Uh, if you just did join us, I wonder where you have been, but uh, we've had an amazing show so far from the topics and the new, uh, newspaper review. And uh, we had our first guest earlier, and we talked about the uh, bill. We don't cause a lot of problems for social media and uh, Nigeria at large. But we're going to be talking to a, uh, another guest via Skype right now, and uh, she is an event planner. Uh, she's a CEO of uh, P -ex Exclusive Events, and uh, she's... Uh, her name is um, Pris Priscilla Diko, and we're going to be speaking to her about this uh, current situation of the country being uh, COVID-19, where people don't come together anymore. How is it for the event industry? So we, with us in the studio today, we have uh, Priscilla. Hello, madam. Welcome to Good Morning Niger Show. Hello, good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank, Thank you, you for much. joining us. Uh, so, Opse, uh, Mo, just jump right into the, the, the matter real quick. Looking at uh, the whole idea of the COVID-19 situation don't come, a lot of things have changed. Now, let us uh, um, understand from your perspective, how is it for you as uh, the events industry? How has it affected the event industry? Okay, thank you. So, like we all know, the invest industry was the most hit, as in one of the most hit, you know, we were hit with unprecedented force. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of us went, went, expect, went prepared for a situation like this. Yes. So, like all of the social distancing, people can't come together. So, we've not had events since March. There was no events in March, no events in April, as it is May, no events. Because if you look at how things are availing, definitely we, we will know that even in July, possibly there might not be events. So with the rising number of infected people daily, so we are one of the most hit. So even when people are going back to work, a month, last about Monday, first, we went, there was nowhere for us to go. So we just, we, we are just like, you know, stuck. Mm. You know, we are we just have to wait and see how things unveil. But as it is, the, the event industry is one of the most hit. So oh, uh, okay, Madam Blissia, if, if you just help me uh, adjust your camera down a bit, make her see your face, because if like I said, not, not just, uh, the top of your the top of your environment, they show plenty. Just adjust the camera small, come down. So I go see your yeah, face can. clearly. Is, is it better now? I can't see your head at all now. Shift them up small. You understand? Okay. Uh -huh. It did okay like this. It did okay like okay. this. Uh -huh. Better. Okay. So uh, as 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 the situation is, like you said, the event industry is one of the was one of the most hit industries because of this uh, coronavirus thing. Uh, and uh, okay. as be now, looking at the situation as 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 an event per person, where you be, what is the way forward now? In as what are the the steps where you have decided? Okay, since we have come here and we might be here for a period of time that we don't know how long, what is the way forward in the industry? What do you think is the way out of this for your industry? So for most of us now, we they try coordinate, we they try cultivate other skills. Okay, where they like close to event planning, you understand? Hmm. We they try to make, develop virtual event strategies and learning about online platforms who we tell our, our clients about. Mm -hmm. If they go, especially online platform where they're very event friendly. Okay. Where they decide to say, okay, let's see if we could work with this. You know, anything that is new, there's always resistance. Yes. We will really want a step. Mm -hmm. Because if you see, like we be party people, yes, and for us, party is like cultural thing. Yes. So we they look for opportunity. So for us, party about celebration, connecting, mm -hmm. and stuff like. That. Mm -hmm. So people find it difficult to go to the next step. Stage will be our reality now, which is either doing virtual events. Mm -hmm. But it's everybody go accept virtual events because at the end of the day, most of the objective will make these people want to do virtual events. You know, go. when maybe we want to event in the first place, you know, go, they achieve, mm. which is connecting, celebrating, mm -hmm. you know, show that oneness, you know, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Now, the future for us now, we, we, take, we, just, we take stock. That's okay. our future now. We take stock of the situation. And our expectation of the future, I would like to either change day by day. Okay. All right, Priscilla. Yeah. Yeah, let's look at... 
you, you talk about the event industry being one of the most heat. Give us practical examples yeah. about some of the things that you have personally experienced in terms of the, the impact caused by COVID-19. Now, for some people, they would say that they had customers or clients that had paid for services before coronavirus for weddings and are now asking for refunds. Have you experienced any of that? Give us like practical examples that you have experienced in terms of the impact caused by coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So I had an event that was supposed to happen in June. Unfortunately, there were events in April that were canceled and clients requested for refunds. So at some point, you, you can't, you have to show compassion because these are consistent clients and you begin to do refunds to them because even as much as we say we want to promote their track, a lot of them would not, don't want to. They said they would rather wait. Either in 2021 or 2022, they would rather have um, them, but they would not want to. To, to, to just hold on and so I had to do refunds. Hmm. Then another event that was I, have, I just had a conversation with the client. It's so glaring, it's not going to happen. So we begin to talk to vendors about cancellation policies. Mm -hmm. You know, some vendors have policies where you have to use some part of your money. Yes. So a lot of people are not accepting that part of the contract, even though there was a contract, but you know, there's still conversation and talk. So we've had to refund money. We've had to pay back, you know, do pay clients, give clients their money and stuff like that. So money issues that we have are with vendors because with vendors, there's always a contract. With you, you can compromise because you have, that person is your personal client. You can decide to compromise and say, okay, let me refund too. But with vendors, most of them have insisted that they have to get part of their money, which was stipulated in the contract. And in the cases exactly. where the client is asking for a refund and the money has been spent already, what, what would happen? So that's where we have to have a conversation. If this money has been spent on, on stuff, you know that as a client you can't get full, you can't get refund because you can see. Because for every um, thing we buy or pay for, client is always in the know. So they know that aspect and some people decide to say, okay, fine, since money was spent on this thing and we know, and they decide to say, okay, let's let go of that. So because we are putting events on hold, mm -hmm. most are on total cancellation, most are on hold, we could still go back you know, and still work with those things. Hmm. Now, looking at, uh, like you said earlier, Nigerians, it's a culture of people for us to always want to meet, you know, in a particular space to celebrate. And unfortunately, this has happened. The future for events now, the future for events, virtual reality, like they would say, it's one of the things that we're looking at. Do you think that it would be it is a system that we would be able to embrace anytime soon if if need be, because in your industry, you also need to make money. You also need yeah. to earn a living. So do you think it's a system that Nigerians will be able to embrace anytime soon if we decide to stick to virtual events? So oh, personally, my own opinion, it's going to be very difficult. Mm. Like I said, the objective of having practice would not be achieved mm -hmm. via virtual events. So we try to sell it. People are resistant. They are not, they don't intimate parties. So we might have lead to intimate parties. See, Nigerians are people who have, who always have guests between 500 to 2005. And that is not everybody they know. Yes. And you expect them to have three, five people. So a lot of them are saying, we would rather wait. Hmm. We would rather wait than just have in, I had a client, I had a conversation with a client and I was like, let's do this. No, she was like, no, I'll wait anytime this thing ends. It might work with other days. Mm -hmm. Work with, you know, some other little parties. But with weddings, with significant birthdays like 80th, you know, those are like, give, children are giving back to their parents. So yes. they want that thing, you understand? So we might not be able to. So it's going to be, a, it's going to be, People are going to be resistant. Hmm. But in the next future, we are hoping that people would embrace it. We are hoping. But right now, having that conversation, people aren't buying it. But hmm. for me, for 
do conferences, little meetings, it might work. For corporate events, it might work. Mm. But for, for social events, it might not work. Mm. So that's we are just so that's what so that's why the people are saying, okay, let's look at so most event planners are going to training, mm -hmm. you know, so the cash flow will be there. Mm -hmm. They're going to online trainings, mentorship, coaching, mm -hmm. you know, just get cash flow and keep the business running. Mm. All right, thank you so much, Priscilla, for joining us. We've been speaking about the future of event planning and how far it's been hit by COVID-19. Before we let you go, what is the one thing you miss the most about being an event planner? The one thing you miss the most that coronavirus has taken away from you? <laughs> oh, see, if you know me so well, you know that I'm very passionate about what I do. Mm -hmm. And you know joy when a client is satisfied. You know, when you're running the event itself, Yes. And the client is smiling at you. And, you know, you feel in your heart that, yes, you've done something great. I miss that. Mm. I miss that. You know, that satisfaction that comes with, you know, transforming a dream into reality. That's what I miss the most. Okay. So uh, the final words for me, uh, I would like to know, for someone who, is, who has been in this business for quite a while and for what would you say uh, a little advice to those who are running this same business and probably don't know what next to do because it's not everybody that will have the idea of okay the next step the next idea so what exactly what what would you say as giving advice to the other event planners out there who are clueless of words the of next step yes well. words of encouragement how who are clueless what would you say to them so i would say this is temporary mm -hmm. It's not reality. Mm. As a Nigerian, we know that celebration is part of our culture. Yes. And we have so many reasons to celebrate when this is over. Trust me, recovery, celebration, Thanksgiving, it will be a blast by the time this thing is over. We'll be swamped. People would want to celebrate. So I would say keep faith and just know this is not our reality, but just a temporary thing and just stay positive. Wow. Thank all you right. so much, Priscilla, for joining us. Thank <laughs> you. I wish you all the best. We hope for this to be over as soon as possible so that you can return to life uh, and business as you know it. Mm -hmm. We do not know if things are, you know, there have been arguments back and forth as to whether things would ever return to the normal that we are used to. But I guess we'll adapt as we progress and as we proceed with life. Yes, to hoping that we find a vaccine as soon as possible, a cure as soon as possible, so that we can go back to living the lavish party lifestyle here I that we like. Down. The you turn know, up. Turn up. Wedding the wedding rice. The, turn up. the wedding rice. The party rice. Everything is a turn up. Everything is a turn up. Wedding, birthday, graduation, graduation burial, burial, everything. Even one year old birthday parties. I said to all my friends that do lavish one year birthday parties for their children. I said this party is not for this child. It's for you. It is for so them. that you can hang out with all your friends. All your this friends. child is clueless. It, the child is <laughs> just there wondering who are all these people in my house? What's going on exactly. here? Exactly. They just hey. want to stand.